Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I had an interesting situation today that has never happened in almost 10 years of real estate. I had a buyer's agent who requested last week that his buyer clients, we've negoti been negotiating, this is a previous property, so a high-end home in Wilmington on the water, and had a buyer's agent request that his buyers, who've been negotiating back and forth with the sellers for at least a few weeks now, just very thorough, very diligent, I mean, there are counter offers and examinations before even getting under contract, which is great. I would much rather people do um, some stuff ahead of time, you know, if we're kind of close on that price point and we think we can get it worked out. But the buyer's agent requested that the buyer had requested to sit down with the sellers and both agents at the seller's home and discuss the final terms and just chat with them. These sellers had built the home. Um, beautiful home, lived there for many years, and the buyer clients felt like they wanted to just sit and chat with them, um, and that we were all, you know, pretty much going to be in agreement, but wanted to sit down and have this conversation, ask a few final questions, and move forward, hopefully. Um, it was an interesting request. I've definitely never sat down at a table with buyers and sellers together who are negotiating and who, who, who are signing a contract together. Um, they sat and talked. The buyers asked some questions, final questions. We sat there for at least an hour, and then they went through and signed the contract together. It was definitely, from a listing agent perspective, sitting there was a little bit on pins and needles just because you never know what either party is going to say that could affect um, the transaction or could affect your negotiating power further on down. Um, you know, when, once you're under contract or moving along, I think we were all confident that we knew verbally that we were going to get it under contract, but you just never know what somebody can say that can hurt them sort of farther down the line. But everything went very, very well. It's definitely something I would not suggest um, my buyer clients or my seller clients do, but in this particular instance, it worked. Um, both parties were happy. I, and um, it was just an interesting situation, but you know, in real estate, I think as a real estate agent, as a thorough and a very, very good real estate agent, you should always be open to what the other party is asking for. And in this case, it was really important for the buyer to do this and to sit down with them before they signed that contract. And as a listing agent, I could have easily said, absolutely not, you know, that is totally not protocol. I've never done that before. That's not the norm and it's not but that would not have been the best representation for my clients because they probably wouldn't have gone under contract and we are under contract and I think it's gonna be very good for everyone and we'll hopefully um, continue moving forward and sell the property, but I think you've gotta be open to different suggestions. You've gotta be open to what different parties and different clients and different people want coming from different parts of the country, um, but you know, still protect your clients at the same time. So anyways, just something interesting that happened and thought I would share. If you have any thoughts or comments or disagree, please feel free to email me. And of course, please check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.